uh, Reverend Kenny uh, break the bread of life to us. So we just real grateful and thankful with all head bowed and eyes closed. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for another year we never seen. We thank you for the upcoming year 23. We thank you, oh, Heavenly Father, for our going and coming for this year. Yes, sir. We just ask that you be with us this year like you were last year, oh, Heavenly Father. You was with us all through the year, all 365 days, oh, yes, Heavenly Lord. Father. We ask for guidance and prayer and mm. understanding, glory, wisdom and glory, knowledge glory. and know-how, oh, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. We ask that you bless the house of worship bless. in 23 bless like it, you did Lord. in bless 22, oh, Heavenly bless Father. It, bless it, Lord. You blessed us, oh, Heavenly Father, and we, we just want to say thank, thank you. you thank you, Jesus, thank for you. what you did. Thank you, Jesus, for... Our going and our coming, oh Heavenly Father, yes, our Lord, travel, yes, oh Heavenly Father. We're praying for the person that's traveling today, by yes, God, land, yes, God. sea, air, or ground. We just, we just blessing them, oh Heavenly Father. We ask your blessing to be stored bless upon them. them. Bless, bless them, the pilots that fly the plane. Bless, bless them, the man bless that, that steer the ship. Bless the man that drive the car. Bless yes, the man God. that drive the truck yes, across the country, oh yes. Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. We can't say thank you enough. You know all our need, wants, and desire. You know what we're trying to do. You know yes, what we're about. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So we ask, asking, oh, Heavenly Father, that our prayers go out to the Commonwealth home, to the hospital, to the military bases, to the playground, to the schools, that everybody's standing yes, in need of prayer. Lord. Yes, God. Everybody's standing yes, in need of prayer. Yes, yes, yes. We're praying for the people trying to get across yes, the border, oh, yes, Heavenly God. Father. Yes, Lord, God. have mercy. Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Help them, Lord. Help them, Lord. Help them, Lord. Help them, Lord. Jesus. I don't know what to say, but I can just say, ask you. Amen. You be in the midst. Yes, Lord. Oh, Heavenly yes, Father. So yes, somebody Lord. praying. Somebody getting the yes. cross. Yes, God. Oh, Heavenly Father. You know who they are. Yes, God. You know what they were. They are. So we just ask that you be in that crisis right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Name of we Jesus. ask that you, our leaders, Oh, Heavenly mm. Father, let's give them a mind to understand. God. Be in the right place at the right time, Hallelujah. oh, Heavenly Father. Yes. Making right decisions. Decisions have yes, to be God. made, yes, Lord. God. Them old decisions have to be made. They have to oh, be God. the right oh, decision, God. oh, Heavenly oh, Father. God. So we just ask, oh, Heavenly Father, that you be there. We ask that our prayers go out to the community. Community, Lord. We Jesus. ask that you bless the house of worship. Jesus, and, Jesus. And that's kind of, we know we might not be the best ministry in the world. Jesus, Jesus. But we're praying that you strengthen us where we're weak and build us where we're torn down yes, and help God. us to understand. Yes, Lord. Get your word out there. Yes, God. Let yes, God. Let's humble ourselves, oh, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah, God. So we can uplift you and glorify yes, Lord, you, oh yes, Heavenly Lord, Father. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. We, we know, you know what we're trying to yes, do. Yes, God, yes, God. Lord, we just ask that you be in the midst. Continue yes, to be God, with us. Please, Jesus. Be with us on our jobs. Yes, God. Oh, Heavenly Father. Bless us when I, in our automobiles going mm -hmm. back and forth. Keep us on our side of the road, Lord. Yes, Lord, God. Keep us oh Lord, this might be not Keep might not safe. be the kind of prayer that some people want to hear, but it's just a simple prayer. And a basic prayer. Yes. But we praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That you continue to be with us, oh Heavenly God, Father. Oh God, oh God. And we thank you for all thank you do. You we thank you for what you done already done, yes, oh Heavenly God. Father. We just ask that you give us joy and peace and yes. happiness, oh Hallelujah, Heavenly God. Father. We just ask that you open the eyes to the person that really think that they've been tossed to the curb, oh Heavenly Father. My Lord, my Lord. Let us bow down before you and bring all our burdens to you. Yes, God. To you. Yes, Not me, yes, to, but to you, oh, Heavenly Father. Father. Yes, Father. We thank you. We thank, thank you, you Jesus. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus, for all the food. Yes. That thank you put on the table for us, oh, Heavenly yes, Father. It was day, plenty God. to spare. Yes. And we ask, oh, Heavenly Father, that you continue to bless all our in-laws from the east yes, to the west. Please, Jesus. To the north to the south. Please, we ask God. that you bless all the other ministries that are listening. Yes, we ask God. that you bless Jesus. the usher board. Jesus. The choir board. Jesus. The deacon board. Yes, Lord God. And everybody that stand for you. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, O oh, Heavenly Jesus. Father. We just ask, O oh, Heavenly Father, that you just kind of sometime 
We ask, I know we never ask in a way, but sometimes, oh, Heavenly Father, I don't mind giving, but sometimes to uplift your kingdom. We just ask sometimes, we just want to put out some programs or something, mm -hmm. oh, Heavenly Father. Yeah. So if you can, and you have a donation, and you want to come, uh, they submit a donation to the house of worship here in Adairsville, Georgia. Oh, Heavenly Father, we'll be real grateful and thankful. Oh, Heavenly Father, you know, they said, you know, you're supposed to give 10% of your earnings, oh, Heavenly Father. But sometime, sometime, oh, Heavenly Father, you know what I'm talking about. So we just ask, oh, Heavenly Father, you just be in the midst mm -hmm. of our planning and our doing here at the house of worship. In mm -hmm. Darrisville, Georgia. And we're going to be first and fast to uplift you and glorify you and give you all the power and the glory all year long, like yes, we did Lord last Jesus. year, oh, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord Jesus. You, didn't, you didn't cut us short of anything. Hallelujah, God. And I praise your name and I yes, glorify Lord. your name yes, for that, Lord. oh, Heavenly yes, Father. Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we just ask, oh, Heavenly Father, that. We pray for all the churches and ministers Jesus, across Jesus, the country, Jesus, across Jesus, the land. Jesus. We pray for them people over there in that wash creek in Ukraine. Yes, God. Yes, have God. mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mm. Hallelujah, God. Bless mm. them. Bless them. It could have been me and you over there. Mm. But, oh, Heavenly Father, you, 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 you sitting high. You're looking low. We know. We know you know what's going on. So we're real grateful and thankful. Yes, Lord. That we have a peaceful place, somewhere to lay our heads yes, at night, hallelujah. Lord. We're so grateful and thankful. thankful we got to thankful. say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you Jesus. Yes, Jesus. And we praise your name. We glorify your name, yes, Lord. God. And we just ask you to continue to be with us through the day. And we'll be first and fast to give you all the power and the glory. In the yes. mighty name of Jesus, we mighty pray. Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Powerful prayer. Powerful Thank prayer. You. Thank you, Jesus. Deacon Thank Canton. You, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He's been gone for a while. And hallelujah. I know that's that's been building Thank up you. in him. And he just, hallelujah, so thankful that he's here today. And I am thankful, too. This Thank is you. January, what, the 8th? 8th. Hallelujah, oh, January the 8th, Amen. 2023, Amen. 2023, Amen. hallelujah, Amen. we're so Amen. thankful and glad that, that God let us wake up this morning to Amen. see another day, sure and again, we just welcome, welcome, welcome you all, we, I'm going to say this real quick, amen, uh, those who are having a birthday, hallelujah, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. It's so wonderful. Hallelujah. And to those that are celebrating our wedding anniversaries, hallelujah. We just had a wedding anniversary, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, we had an anniversary. <laughs> uh, January the 2nd, <laughs> hallelujah. Sure January the 2nd. How many years mm -hmm. we've been married? Oh, man. The losing count is getting into three <laughs> digits. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> we'll be married 38 years, hallelujah, 38 Amen. years, 38 years, so Amen. we're thankful to God that we're still together, hallelujah, Amen. God is still, hallelujah, blessing us that we're still able to get up and do what do for ourselves, Amen, Amen. and then we're going to go on and say uh, uh, to those that are having church anniversaries, hallelujah, God be with you, wedding anniversary, God be with you, you've been married for a number of years, it's wonderful, uh, you've been celebrating your church anniversary for a number of years. That's wonderful. The church is still together. All those that are being baptized today, somewhere going down in the water, coming back up a different person. Amen. Hallelujah. With the Holy Amen. Ghost riding on you. Yes, Jesus went down being baptized by John the Baptist. When he came up, he said, a dove ascended on him, coming out of, like a dove. A Holy Spirit was descending on him, coming out of heaven yeah. like a dove. So we pray that you also get that same feeling. Amen. And also those getting promotions and graduating from college or whatever school that you're attending, barber school, a, a doctor, becoming a doctor, whatever it is, congratulations. You That's succeeded. Right. You made it through. Amen. Hey. And we are just thankful, thankful that you made it, That's that God right. was with you. God was with you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And to those that are bereaved families, hallelujah. Bereaved we have family. you in our prayers. We lift you up. We ask the Lord to give you uh, uh, strength, give you peace and comfort in this time of loss. We know we've been through some losses as well and we know that, you know, you just have people around you that, that's comforting you and giving you comforting words that Amen. you can make it through this. It'll be alright. 
Our Amen. loved ones, hopefully, and pray that in a better place than it was here. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Amen. All the misery that they was going through with being sick. So we just thank God. Thank God for tending to, hallelujah, those that didn't mind calling upon his name. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to get ready and turn it back over to the hands of uh, Dickon Charles. And I did want to say a little something. I want to thank uh, Jeanette Williams. Hallelujah, Pastor Jeanette Williams. Uh, such a sweet lady. Uh, she know what I'm thanking her for. And also I want to thank uh, Pastor uh, Sharon Walker. Amen. We had a good time on Revival on the phone. Amen. That's it was right. a wonderful time. And I want to thank her for the work that she put in doing this revival. And every every participant that I got to hear and talk to, I thank God for that. So Amen. I'm turning back over to the hands of Deacon Charles. He's going to come to you with however God leads him. Amen, amen. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Pastor Ken. I just want to go ahead and read this scripture. And it kind of like uh, uh, on the back of my prayer, the morning prayer this morning. You know, all of us, all of us, I don't know, some people make New Year resolution. I don't, but I just go along and pray and ask God. You know, let your will be done. Amen. Let your will be done. Let your will be done, oh Heavenly Father. You know, you know. Like I said, all our needs and mm wants -hmm. and desire. You know what we're trying to accomplish. Amen. Everybody trying to have something to accomplish. Some sometime, you know, you set a goal. You have to have a goal. You have to have some kind of insight mm -hmm. of what you want to do. Amen. You got to want to do. Yes. You know, so you have to put. You know. God said, if you make one step, he'll make two more for you. So mm -hmm. you have to keep that in mind as you plan your uh, schedule or plan what you're trying to accomplish. Amen. Right. So said that, we're going to be, we're going to read uh, uh, Psalms 20. Psalms 20. Psalms you 20. probably already know it. Psalms 20. It, it has so much meaning. Okay. And uh, it will help you Amen. on your uh, life journey. Life's journey. And, you know, you can take it and read it from day to day or from ever when you think that, you know, mm -hmm. you're trying to accomplish something. Amen. And you ask the good, good Lord above to help you yes. in this situation. The song is 20, and it reads like this. May the Lord answer you answer. when you are in disgrace. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. Mm -hmm. Amen. With your going and coming, may he send you help. You know, everybody need help from time to time. You can't do it alone. Everybody Amen. think they're doing it alone, but they're not. They're not. Amen. From the sanctuary mm -hmm. and grant you support. You need support. We all do. You know? Yes, Lord. You know, you got a teenager, you're trying to play ball in school, your son or daughter, and, uh, and they need those gymnastic shoes or tennis shoes to play. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, they need support. Glory. You know, everybody needs support. Amen. With something that simple. Amen. You need support on some things that you're trying to get promoted to and or something, literature you don't understand. You need, you need to go to somebody for support. Glory to God. Hallelujah. From Zion, may he remember all your sacrifices. You know, yes. you sacrifice some things. You know, you can, you know, sacrifice some for the church. You might say, well, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a church. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a church some uh, 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 a donation to help, you know, make some new roads. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to donate to the church to have some carpet down, you know. So sacrifices some sacrifices you sacrifices it'll come back to you yes, amen yes yes and accept your burnt offerings mm -hmm. you know where it's a dollar where it's ten dollars a hundred dollars a five hundred dollar whatever it might be you know sacrifice offering mm -hmm. offerings makes a difference it'll come back to you for the week is over with and you'll wonder well i got a little left over amen May he give you the desires of your desires. heart. Desires. Desires. He know what you want. You want a new car. Oh, Have mercy, Lord. Oh, you need a you need that new um 
a door. You need those new windows for your house. He knows yes, the he designs does. of your heart. Yes, he does. And make all your plans. You know, you got to plan, man. You just can't sometimes just jump up and do it. Mm -hmm. You got to plan. You got to have a plan. Amen. And you got to follow up on that plan and ask God Amen. to be with you Amen. in that plan and succeed. You will shout for joy. Yes. Joy when you are victorious. Shout for joy. <laughs> Amen. You know, you say, oh, it worked out so good. You know, you jump up for joy. Oh, I'm so yes. happy. Yes. I was I was reading earlier today. I had been waiting on a letter that I had been waiting for for a couple of weeks, and it finally came. So I'm, I'm jumping up for joy. Yes, yes. I'm jumping Hallelujah. up for Hallelujah. joy this morning. Oh, Heavenly Father, he made it happen. And are victorious and will lift up your banners. You know, sometimes when you go to church, they be waving the flag, the banners, mm -hmm. you know, in the Amen. church. Amen. They're waving them banners around. I used to like to do that. I like to do that. Waving them banners. Boy, when them praises go up, them blessings come down. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of our God, may the Lord grant all your requests. Mm -hmm. All your requests. Not just some of them. All your oh, requests. Hallelujah. He granted me all my requests. Praise the Lord. Way to go. He did. Hallelujah. He everything I asked for in the name of Jesus, he granted it to me. Amen. Now I know that the Lord served his anointed. He answered him from his holy heaven with the serving power of his right hand. Mm -hmm. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall. But we rise up and stand firm. Amen. Oh, Lord, serve the king, not me. The king. the king. Serve the king. Answer us when we call. You know, you got to make your request known to God, not to me. Not to man. You can tell man, oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. But that's, you know, you you just have to make your request known to God. Amen. Go ahead. If you don't, you keep it to yourself. He don't know. You got to speak it. Mm -hmm. You got to get down on your knees or ever how you pray or go in a closet or, <clears throat> or to yourself in your car when you ride. You got to speak it. What you want. Amen. Amen. Speak and it. it will come to pass. Believe Hallelujah. me. Hallelujah. You got to speak it. Glory to God. And I thank nobody here. Glory to God. That's under the sound <coughs> of my weak voice. Know that I am telling the truth. Amen. He might not come when you want him. But he's coming. It's coming. It's coming. But you got to make it known to God. Oh, it's known. Yes. Pray to help. You have to pray. To help me find ways to end my money trouble, mm -hmm. is that what you got? You have to know. You got to be let it known to be to God that God will bless me to have more loving friends. Is that what you want, friends? You got okay. to pray about that thing. Amen. The blessing of better health. Amen. You want you know you got a little stiff in that on that leg. You have to pray to God about that. I know you got to go to the doctor. The doctor, he 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 gonna see about you and prescribe some medication. But oh Lord, that man up there, he says high and look low. Yes, God, yes. God. The blessing of better health. I want the Lord direction in finding a job. Some person need a job, but not just only a job, but a good job. A good job. Amen. If you glad and you happy and you 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 like what you're doing. That's a good job. Amen. Amen. You don't mind getting up in the morning or what shift you on the morning shift, the evening shift, the midnight shift. You won't mind if you like what you're doing. So you have to ask God to give you a job that you enjoy doing and strengthen you on that Amen. job. Amen. For God to guide and protect those I love. Amen. Amen. That my marriage will be will be happier. You have to pray that, you know, sometimes you say, oh, my own marriage so good. 
Maybe you have to be happy married, happily married. Amen. Amen. I mean, everything sometimes ain't peaches and cream, but you can be happy. Amen. Amen. To have more peace and harmony in my home. You know, you have peace and harmony in your home. That's what you want. You want peace. Peace, peace, peace. Peace. In your home. Yes. You know, you don't want to be joyful. Yeah. You yes. want to be cheerful. You know. You just want to have a that kind of have a, a peaceful atmosphere Glory. at your home. Hallelujah. To stop worrying so much. Worry, oh Lord, what I'm gonna do. Oh Lord, just put it over, bow down, put it in the hands of God and see what happens. Mm -hmm. May I deep depend on the spiritual understanding. Sometimes mm -hmm. spiritual understanding. You want a spiritual understanding. Hallelujah. Some people don't know what a spiritual understanding is. Come on, is. come on now. But a spiritual understanding, listen to what God, our Father said. Say it now, say so it. So you can have a spiritual understanding. Amen, amen. Not man understanding. The God will help my dear friends to give up alcohol, mm. to be blessed to receive a raise and pay. You need a raise and pay. Everybody need money. Amen. Mm -hmm. May I fulfill my special abundance, abundance, abundance day for God to bless a dear friend with better health. Better you know, health. somebody yes. is kind of under the weather. Yes. We yes. praying for him. Praying for him. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I want to renew a mm -hmm. friendship that has Mm -hmm. Somebody you want to renew, you know, you want to get back to talking to them. Y'all used to be real close and y'all used to communicate a lot. And you would like to get back with good communication with your daughter, your sister, your brother or somebody. And let's have a good relationship. Amen. As the last one, I'm going to stop on, on this one. To move to a nicer place amen yeah. everybody want to live in a nicer place a nicer mm -hmm. home a peaceful home a happy home amen amen oh, i'm gonna stop right there and i'm gonna turn it back over into the hand of the pastor who's gonna break the bread of life to us but we thank y'all we thank everybody for listening and we just say hello 23 we just hope everything like i said all your plans succeed and we hope you have good health and well-being. Amen. 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 Well, Deacon Charles, you Thank could have finished because I'm telling you, you're preaching the word here. Amen. You're preaching Amen. the word. Amen. 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 You sure you don't want to finish? No, go ahead. Hallelujah. You preached the ahead. word this morning. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Thank you for the time. <laughs> I hope somebody can get an understanding of what I was saying. Um, you know, what you pray for, and, you know, sometimes you ask what you pray for, sometimes you say, oh, I pray for that, and here it is, I don't want this, so be careful what you pray for, amen. amen, amen, so it's coming, you got to let it be known to who, God, God, go ahead, go not ahead, Deacon Charles. Charles. go ahead, preach, not pastor, go ahead, preach, not pastor, Cancer, but you got to let it be known to God and see when it come to pass. Amen. Amen. I'm a living witness. Come Amen. On, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. I didn't want him to stop. I wanted to keep <laughs> on going. Amen. 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 So when it's, when it's on you, you just let God have his way. Amen. 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 If it's on you, let God use you. Hallelujah. Where you are. Amen. Let God use you where you are. Amen. Yes, Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Just give him a hand clap of praise if you don't mind. I know he can't hear you, but you know God hears you. God yeah. hears you. God hears you. And and I'm I'm gonna try not to be too long. Uh amen. But this is a word that God gave me uh this morning. Hallelujah for the hearers of his word. You know, we're in chapter 15 in the book of Luke. Chapter 15 in the book of Luke. 
Amen. Father God, I ask you to help me right now, steer me in the right direction, open my mouth to say the right things, let my heart and mind be on one accord, as, as Jesus said, that we should be on one accord with him. Amen. We are one with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So I pray right now that God, you lead me and, and guide me in the way that I should go. And I thank you for Deacon, Deacon Charles here that gave us a word as well. Amen. Amen. And I thank him that he came out of Psalms 20, which is also some of what God has already given me Amen. today. Amen. Amen. Uh, and and a, topic, a topic there, I believe it was, it was saying that um, you are not alone. Amen. You are not alone. Uh, a lot of times people feel that they are alone Amen. and that they have no one to talk to or no one that they can... Go, no one they, they can call a friend. It's been a lot of times in my life, sometimes you be around a lot of people and you feel alone. You feel all alone because you don't have a connection. And God is trying to get us to make a connection. Make, Amen. Amen. He wants to, we want us to have a connection. And I'm going to read here. I'm just going to read here uh, just the topics of a parable of uh, the lost sheep. In chapter 15, the book of Luke, the parable of the lost sheep and the parable of the lost coin and the parable of the lost son. Well, amen. So we are going to be talking about the different parables that God is giving here. He's talking about three different things. He's talking about one. He's talking about the sheep. sheep. Amen. A lost sheep. And then, then he's talking about a lost coin and then a lost son. Hallelujah. Mm. A lost son. And as I was just uh, studying this about the lost sheep, it says that with the, with the servant or with the uh, shepherd, he had 100 sheep. 100 sheep. And I began, I said, Lord, this one sheep got missing. This one sheep lost his focus. He drifted away or he got caught up in something that he couldn't get out of. Amen. He got caught up in a snare that he couldn't get out of. Now, a sheep is not able to, to make some critical decisions and judgments on what to do. All he knew that I'm caught and I cannot get loose. Well, the good shepherd, hallelujah, uh, as he was in the wilderness with all of his sheep, he began to count his sheep. He knew how many sheep he had. He had 100 sheep. And he counted up to what? 99. And he said, wait a minute. One of my sheep is miss missing. Well, so he, he left the 99, 99 and went back to look for that lost sheep. Lost sheep. Hallelujah. Hmm. Now, like I said, that lost sheep probably got focused on something else. Have we ever been there? You, your mind get focused on something else. So you lose focus. You lose a, a, a position where you were in. You were walking oh, yeah. with a group and all of a sudden you start looking at something that was drawing your attention away from the group. Drawing your attention away from the word. Well, draw, drawing your drawing attention, your attention away, away, from away from where you need to be going. Come on. Well, the little sheep, amen. Come on. He, he was going, I'm, I'm assuming, going in a way. And you just think about the situation in the wilderness. He could have fell in a hole. Amen. Amen. He could have fell in a hole. He could have got caught between a tree. His head got caught between a tree. So many things could have happened to that little sheep. Sure enough. But thank God for the shepherd. Thank God for the shepherd that cared about that sheep. He didn't just say, oh, well, I still got 99. I ain't going to worry about the one. But that good shepherd said, I'm going to leave the 99 and I'm going to go and find the lost sheep. And they said when he found the lost sheep, found he picked him up and put him around his shoulders and brought him back to the fold, brought him back to the other sheep. And he began to rejoice. He Lord. began to rejoice because he found that lost sheep. Found well, I can't imagine that lost sheep. Surely, I know he was rejoicing to see the crowd, his brothers and sisters again. Amen. Amen. So that's the parable of the lost sheep. Oh, Sometimes we just stray away. 
We just away. stray away. We lose focus. But there's no fault sometimes of our own in certain situations because we get trapped. Trail. We get trapped. And maybe the little sheep got trapped by something that kept him. And he wasn't realizing he wasn't keeping up. He mm. didn't realize it. He didn't realize it, but Amen. the shepherd realized it. Shepherd. The shepherd realized that one of my sheep is missing. And we're going to go on to the parable of the lost corn. It said it was a woman. She had 10 coins, 10 coins. It said each corn represent a day's wage. So, you know, a woman having 10 coins and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, one of the coins fell. Mm. From her 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 hand, or oh. fell from her pocket. All of a sudden, that that corn become lost. But the Bible says that woman, she didn't just say, "Oh, I still got nine. It'll be all right." No, she didn't. She got down on her hands and knees, and she even got a little broom and she began to to swish away and, and feel and feel till she found that corn. Found that she, corn. She, that was just a material thing, but it was something that was important to her. Just like the lost sheep was important to the shepherd, and just like the woman, she had ten coins, and that one little coin, it was still important to her. Uh, she got down on these. How many times have you dropped something that you? You you really liked, amen. It may be an earring. You know, we we drop earrings sometimes. We mm -hmm. we drop our pencil sometimes. We drop something that we we really like, and then it falls on the ground. Maybe it's a important. Maybe it's a rare penny. We drop, but we're gonna get down on our hands and knees, mm -hmm. and we're gonna begin to search and look for it until we find it. We're not gonna give up until we find it, amen. amen. Hallelujah. And that's the importance of knowing that you value what God has given you. You value what God has allowed you to have. Amen. You want to take care of it. Amen. So the last parable, it talks about the prodigal son. We know it as the prodigal son. And the Bible here is, talks about, it says, the, the pro, uh, parable of the lost son. Yes, he was lost. And I began to look up parable, I mean a prodigal. Prodigal. It's talking about talking about a, a wasteful living, extravagant, reckless, lavish, just wanting everything that they really? see somebody else has. That Amen. Was. Trying to be like someone else instead of like. accepting how God has made you. But sometimes we just want to lavish ourselves with jewelry, lavish ourselves with all kind of array, uh, 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 expensive things around us to make us feel more important. Mm -hmm. Amen. To make us feel uh, like we see somebody else look. Amen. So this parable about the lost son, the one thing about this lost son, he did have a mind. Hallelujah. As the corn couldn't get up and walk away. Mm -hmm. It was just, it had fallen from the clutches of somebody that loved it, that wanted to keep it. Uh, like the lost sheep, it didn't have a mind to say, oh, I, I know the way back. I'm going to go back this way because this is the way they went. He didn't have that kind of mind. Sometimes the way of the world will mess our minds up. Sure the way not. of the world will confuse us from who we are. On, the ways wait. of the world will confuse world. us that we world don't world. even recognize that God is the one that wake us up every morning. Hallelujah. The world will make us confused to say, Jeez. is there somebody named Jesus? Did he really die on the cross for my sins? The world will confuse you and make you think that it was something else. It, it wasn't Jesus. But the Bible tells us that God said he sent his only begotten son, that who Whosoever believeth in him shall not be lost, but shall be saved. Jeez. So the Bible tells us the word that God has left us to follow is a map. It's a map so we won't get lost. But again, the prodigal son was a son that, that went to his father and said, Father, I see all the wealth that you have. I know that I'm in your inheritance and I want to have my inheritance right now. Well, the father wasn't so uh, greedy and unselfish that he said, okay, son, I'm going to divide my, my inheritance for your, you and the other son. So he gave 
all of his inheritance to that son. Amen. But this was a prodigal son. Right. And I believe the father knew what kind of son he was. We know our children. Hallelujah. We know what they would do and what they won't do. We know when we tell them something, if they're going to do it or they're just going to ignore it. Amen. Well, even though this is the kind of God that we serve, he knows that we're going to mess up sometimes. That's why he sent his son. He knows that we're not going to listen sometimes. He knows that we're going to wander away just like the sheep did. Hallelujah. He knows that sometimes we're going to fall down. Hallelujah. And don't know how to get up. But God will send somebody down to pick you up just like the corn that fell from the woman's hand. Somebody going to come and pick you up. Well, then the prodigal son prodigal. is just a little bit different with the prodigal son because he had a mind of his own to do what he wanted to do. So once he got all his possession and, and began to look and see, I got all of this money. I'm thinking about all the things that I can do. All the food and drinks that I can have. All the women I can have. All the places I can go. He began and he got cleared up. He got all his stuff and he took off. Hallelujah. He took off farther as he could go away from his family. Amen. And he went into this country that had all this stuff going on around. And you know, they had all the yeah. women and all yeah. the alcohol and all the drugs and, and all the things that he began to desire because the devil had pulled him away. Hallelujah. The devil had confused yeah. his mind because the devil was telling him, it's all about you. Huh? It's yeah. all about you, prodigal son. You can have anything that you want. All that you see, just look around. It can be yours. Well, the prodigal son was tricked. Hallelujah. Just like today, just like in the Garden of Eden, where Adam and Eve was tricked. Huh? Just like today, so many living lavishly are having so abundance huh? and they using it just uh, recklessly, huh? instead of saving that money and putting it up for a rainy day, because you better believe a day is going to come, hallelujah, when you're not going to have anything. Huh? But is. what God is trying to tell you, what God is trying to show you, hallelujah, take time, hallelujah, take time to pray, take time to meditate on the word of God. Take time to look to the hills from which cometh your help. But a prodigal son, he was just so enthralled. He was covenant. He was, he, 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 the, one of the commandments said, thou shall not covet. Mm. But he was covenant. He was wanting everything that he saw somebody else had. Oh, I see him. He got a good looking woman. I, I'm going to go over there and see if I got enough money. I can persuade her to come over here with me. Come oh, on, but the me. problem was yeah, with the prodigal son, bless his heart. That money was soon run out. I don't care how much you got. Hallelujah. The devil will find a way to get it all from you. Amen. Amen. People are going and winning the lottery, millions and billions of dollars. And all of a sudden, well, within a year, it's all gone. And they have nothing. See, that's how the devil tricks us in our minds. Well, that's why the God say our minds should be on the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. We keep our mind on God. Hallelujah. Amen. With the prodigal son. Amen. And it said a famine came in the land. How mercy. The famine came in the land where everybody was in want. Oh. Everybody was in need. And he just had ran out of all of his money. Oh, oh you know, those friends are all around oh, you when you got some money. Much. Oh, everybody want to be around you when you got some money. Sure everybody want to be right beside you when you have some money. Yeah. When you got some fame going on. You know, just <laughs> like some of the people in the world. <laughs> we, we're going to look at, I'm going I'm to call, uh, what's his name, Kanye West. Amen. A million, billion, and billion, and billions of dollars had it going on. Had it going on. I'm not saying he not he doesn't have it going on now. But the devil will come in and trick you, make you think you all of this, you all of that. Can't nothing happen to you. I remember the the, the quarterback for Falcons, Michael Vick. I remember him saying on the news. I, he said, "Everybody loves me." Everybody loves me like he was untouchable. Hell but you man. know what happened to Michael Vick, hey man? He was dealing in the wrong thing with them dogs, fighting those dogs. And all of a sudden, nobody cared nothing about Michael Vick. He was a prodigal son. Everybody kicked him to the side, didn't care nothing about him, throwed him in jail. Amen? 
So we got to yeah. be careful. Don't ever think that we all of that. Don't let nobody build you up to think you all of that. But you just a child of the most high God. Well, this prodigal son, let me get back to the prodigal son. He was down there. He, he found himself with nothing. The friend said, oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 mm. I, I don't have anything for you. They ran away come on, from him. Come on, they went, ran away from him. So he had to go and hire himself out on, so he could get something. He, he had to go and work for somebody else where everybody was had been doing uh he was hiring getting people to come to him now he had to go begging for help begging for a job begging to get a job so he could so he could eat mm. he said he, he he went to this sh shepherd man and and he had some pigs he told him you go out there and feed the pigs and the, uh, mm. the prodigal son was so hungry and so down and he was out there looking and feeding the this slot to the pigs and he began to think that ooh. I'm down here with the pig, ready to eat the slop that I'm feeding the pig. Hell but man. all of a sudden, hallelujah, because he remembered, hallelujah. Thank God for memory, <laughs> glory to God. Thank God for memory, hallelujah. Some people mess their mind up so bad that the memory won't come back. But thank God, the prodigal son, for some reason, God didn't let his mind get blown away. God didn't let him lose his mind, but he wanted him to see exactly where he was. Hallelujah. He wanted him to see how much he needed the father. He needed to see how much what he could do. He said to himself, I would rather be a servant in my father's house because my father's servants have food to eat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He didn't worry about yeah. like he was was when he went out of being a prodigal son prodigal to being son. wasteful and extravagant. He didn't care about that anymore because God sometimes let you fall down. He let you fall down so deep and so hard that, that when you hit all of a sudden a light bulb goes off in your head. All of a sudden you begin to remember, hallelujah, how well that you had it. I had it made and I messed up. I had everything that I needed but I thought it was better on the other side. That's the thing the, the saying says we think the grass is greener on the other side. But the side that you own, God has given you. You should be thankful. Amen. Amen. If you just had one, hallelujah. Amen. If you just had one coin, hallelujah. You should cherish it just like the shepherd with 100 sheep. He left the 99 to go find that one. Just like that woman with the 10 silver coins and she dropped one. Oh, she bent down on her knees and she began to search and search and search until she found that coin. Amen. Amen. You know, we got to be just like that. We got to fall down on our knees. We got to fall down on our knees and we got to look up to heaven. Hallelujah. Ask the Lord to forgive us. Because in every one of these scenarios that I've just talked about, the sheep, the corn, and the prodigal son, it all rolls back to the father. It always rolls back to the one that created you. And the thing about in all of these parables, that was, he said, let us rejoice. Let us rejoice because we found the sheep. Let us rejoice because we found the coin. Let us rejoice because my rejoice. son come back. He, he stretched out. He went and told his friends, come with me. Come with me and let us rejoice. Amen. Let us Amen. rejoice. He didn't make them feel bad and say, I told you this and I told you that. But he brought them in and he said, let's rejoice. rejoice. And we know sometimes everybody's not going to be on the rejoicing side as we know that the prodigal son brother was not on the rejoicing side. Mm. But God is speaking to somebody this morning. Sure. God is speaking to somebody this morning in this parables, in these three parables. And three parables, they are stories, hallelujah, that's, that's been written to get our attention to where we are. You might be a leader. You might be a pastor. You might be an apostle, an evangelist, a bishop. Mm -hmm. And so somebody has left your foe. How much do you care about them? Or do you care about them enough to go out and try to find them? Do you care about them enough to go out and put them on your shoulder and say, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back into the fold because we love you and we care about you and we need you back. We need you. Back. Everybody wants to feel needed. Amen. Sure Everybody wants to feel needed. Yes, Hallelujah. Right. Nobody wants to feel like they are all alone in this world. Amazing grace. Hallelujah. It was grace that saved us. It was grace that came and saved us when we was lost in the 
the world. Amen. Amazing grace. Hallelujah. Amazing grace. We thank the Lord. Sometimes we feel all alone because we don't want God. We won't let God come in. But when God come in, we be, he begins to rejoice with us. Sure enough. He begins to rejoice with us. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. The joy that God give us. Unspeakable joy. Hallelujah. Praiseworthy joy is what God wants us to do is to praise mm -hmm. him. To praise him. Every day we have to praise him. Praise him for, for everything that we have. That we have a tongue to talk. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have a breath in our lungs that we can breathe. We don't need to be on a breathing machine. God is good. All God is good all, all the, time. the time. And all the time, God is good. And he doesn't want you to be alone. He wants you to know that you are, he is with you. You are not alone. No matter where you go, no matter where you try to hide, God sees you and he's there. Yeah. All you got to do is open your mouth. Open your mouth for the Lord. Yeah. And he will enlighten you. He will touch you. He will strengthen you. He will give you hope. He will give you peace. Amen. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. If you feel like you are a wretch today, if you feel that the world has stripped you of who you truly are, don't lose hope because there's hope in Jesus Christ. When he died on that cross, he knew that you were going to need him one day. Yeah. When he died on that cross for you, he said, I'm not going to say a mumbling word. He's not going to say a mumbling word. He's going to die. He died on the cross for you because he knew you needed him. You're going to need him one day. When you think that nothing can ever go right, you will eventually know that God is there for you. And yeah. God will pick you up. Pick you up. Turn you around. Amen. Place your feet back on solid ground. Amen. Amen. We just thank the Lord today for life, health, and strength as it is. We thank the God. We thank God for Facebook, family, and friends. I want you to read this uh, uh, these, uh, chapter 15 because I know there's a word in there for you. It's a word in there for you because God gives revelation. God gives revelations. As he began mm -hmm. to show me this morning the three differences with these three uh, parables. Amen. Three, three parables. Three Amen. Parables. We got the sheep, the 100 sheep, the 10 uh, coins, and that prodigal son. I think we all got a prodigal son, <laughs> a prodigal daughter in our lives. Amen. Amen. Everybody, everybody gets to experience them. Amen. And I think that's why it's in the Bible because everybody gets to experience a prodigal son. Amen. We, I might, I could have been a prodigal son. Amen. I might have been a prodigal son. God came and rescued me. He rescued me from myself. Hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, we think we're doing it all right, but God has to come in and rescue us from ourselves. Yeah. We are drowning in sin. Yeah, we are right. drowning in ourselves. Mm. We are drowning in selfishness. We are dr drowning in lavishness. We are drowning in uh, gluttony. We are drowning in, in wastefulness. Amen. Amen. So I thank God today. Hallelujah. That thank I you, hope Jesus. and pray that you got a word thank this you. morning. I hope and pray that the Lord is speaking to your heart. That he will place you back into the place that the prodigal son was with his father. Amen. Oh, Amen. Amen. So we, we're we going to get ready to close. Uh, Deacon Charles, you got anything you want to close in words this morning, this afternoon? Nothing at this moment. Uh, Reverend County, the word has been spoken. And I hope everybody received it. The three parables. Prodigal son. And the woman with the coins. And the one missing sheep. Amen. 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 I Amen. thank God. Thank God for your word this morning. Psalms 20. Amen. Psalms 20 because he said God will answer you wherever you are. Therefore, I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer. In prayer. Believe that. You got to believe it. Come on. That you will receive it and it will be yours. That's a, uh, you can find that on St. Mark. 11, 24, and 25. Amen. 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 I'm not just talking, that's to hear myself talk. 
You look it up for yourself. Amen. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. And it went on to say he'll protect you and he will help you. Amen. That's what you came up this morning. It's the same thing that God is speaking to us in chapter 15. So we just, we thank you, Facebook friends. Hallelujah. I'm going to see if I can put my song back up. 